Okay, here's an example with and without the, the loop. It's, uh, what is it, ham fest or whatever they call it there. Uh, That's on the vertical. Colorado, I think it's going to be in Grand Junction this year. Or next year, I should say, next fall. Over. Okay, Grand Junction. Okay, now there's a loud signal. He's close. Okay, that's on the loop. That's on the vertical. So there's a little difference. Uh, the guy he's talking to, I can understand him. The signal to noise is what you're after. The noise is way down. It's about S2 or S3, as opposed to S9. His signal was about S9. Here it says uh, six or seven, but the noise is so much lower. Yep, Roger, Roger. Yep, quite a place. Anyway, good to hear you. You're sounding pretty good. Now here's uh, here's with no signals, so you can see the difference. Uh, to noise. Look at that, S2. We don't just get, we don't get S2 here. S9 on the vertical. So let's go out and look at the installation. Okay, here's the vertical. It's a 6BTV. So it's uh, um, 10 through uh, 10 through 40, or, I'm sorry, 10 through 80, and also has 30 meters for the work bands. Doesn't have the other work bands. So it works pretty good. It's mounted on the side of a little building in our in the corner of our lot here. And we don't have a very big lot. So let me show you, that's the vertical and I can transmit, you know, up to 2000 watts onto that if I want to. I usually keep it to 100, 100 watts, 500 at the most. Now, just to show you how close, that's the other end of our lot, which is your typical small lot. And this is the vertical. And I'll leave the details as, as to whose it is in the uh, in the comments. I have a little TV rotor on it, a little RCA rotor. It's not a big deal. So I can turn it. I could probably make it look a little more round, too. But, you know, the neighbors already wonder about me. It's just on a really heavy-duty uh, stand with a very, <laughs> very heavy pole. So it's not bolted down. It's also not going to fall over. So... Uh, anyway, that's the antenna for receive. Now I can turn it a little bit. Well, I'll turn it all the way if I want. And I haven't yet on the signal I was listening to. I could have turned it and actually made his signal get higher. I can also turn it and change the amount of noise it picks up because, well, I have neighbors with air conditioners and they, uh, they make a lot of racket. So does mine for that matter. But anyway, um, that's the setup. So most of the modern radios have receive, uh, receive antenna capability. And at 7610, along with a lot of others, even the FT-1000 I have next to it, it has a place for a separate receive antenna. So you can transmit on one, receive on another. So it's a good way to do it because this is a receive only loop. So if I tried transmitting on it, that would be a bad thing because there's a little preamp at the base of the, base of the loop. You can't see it, but it's right there. Where the coax goes in he feeds the power to the to the preamp on the over the coax so anyway and i would suggest really good coax i got 150 feet of coax not just on amazon because it was easy um i tried using something that said tandy on it okay that tells you just how old it was it was not working well this isn't even marked but it's it's rg uh, uh 8x i think anyway I drugged it out. It's nice and solid. It's double shielded. It's got the aluminum shield around the center and then the uh, the, the copper braid, which is 100%. It looks, it's, it's really tight. Anyway, I put new connectors on them and put it up. I had the Tandy one on. It was picking up more noise than the vertical, so I knew something was wrong. <coughs> so by uh, changing that out, it's soft. It goes around and goes into my shack um, in the, near the front of the house. And there's my hex beam. So when I'm running uh, um, six through 20, including the warp bands, the hex beam works. And notice the hex beam hangs over the house a little bit. 
So yeah, every year before I take the uh, trailer out, I have to clean all the bird crap off the roof. Damn it, stupid birds. Anyway, so there you go. Um, th there's, there's my example of using two different antennas to, uh, to beat the noise because this is, this is rural. I mean, my neighbors are just a few feet away in all directions. So anyway, there you go. Let me know if you have questions.